Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be a continuation on the blend tool. I was just kind of taking a break from drawing some stuff I'm doing for Christmas gifts, and I was playing around, and and first of all, this is I mainly do this for laser engravers, and we couldn't use these colors, but sometimes I almost wish I could use colors because it would be really cool do the things like this but I did on this one I did took the blend tool and I filled in every other line and I don't know when you would ever use these but I made all these shapes tonight in just a few minutes and uh, you know like I said I don't know when you would use them but if you were you know making somebody's artwork pretty or logo and you just want a little flare you could make your own I powered clipped one into like a frame now this would take a long time to engrave, but it would be kind of abstract. So I thought I'd just show you what I was doing when I played around. So I just took uh, four circles and weld them together. Then I drew a line. You don't want to group them together or anything, but you do when you grab your blend tool, you want to touch on that line and then drag to the other line. So you need to kind of touch both of them. And you can still change it, you know, take your shape tool, you know, you can, you can completely make it look different. Uh, it's, it's almost fun kind of play. That would be a pretty cool start to somebody's logo. Now I'm drawing this in a hairline, but you could go down here and make it a little bit thicker. So it would engrave. And then you could, you know, do what I did in that other earlier one. Take your Smart Fill tool and just fill in a couple. And uh, I'm not going to take the time in the video to do them all, but that would be a pretty cool effect. So I did that one with circles. I did this one. I just drew four parallel lines. You're not parallel lines continuous line and I drew a line through it take your blend tool so you're just going to want to touch that line and then drag off and touch that line and you get all kinds of effects and I don't know when you'd ever use it but then you grab your shape tool and grab it and change it you know make it shorter uh, fill those in you know you could I did it with a oblong circle and a line through it. I haven't done this one yet. Let's see what it does. Click on that line, go to that line. You know, you can change it. You know, you can change it like in your regular blend tool. That doesn't look too good. But let's go back like on this one. While you're still on your blend tool, go back to the blend tool and put it on there and you can change more lines just like in the previous video. Make it a lot more lines. You could probably put enough where it would almost be like a, almost like a grayscale look. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.